today I want to show you how to make beef shawarma. We're going to use these awesome metal skewers. If you don't have these, you want these. They're awesome. In the food processor, I'm going to add grass-fed beef. Now, here's the thing. You can use chicken, you can use pork. So if you want to eat beef, that's fine. Just use chicken, use uh, pork, and you know what's better? It's to add a little bacon. So three pieces of bacon. Everything's gonna go in the food processor. I'm heating up a La Creuset reversible grill pan, and I'm gonna to try to cook these together with you now and also make a little sauce to go with. So in the food processor, I'm gonna add a lot of ingredients. The recipe will be below in the comments. I'm adding onion, fresh garlic. These are flavorful, like memorable, crazy good kebabs. So there's a lot of ingredients. Fresh dill, fresh mint. And what I like to do is I always make like meatballs, um, kebabs, Something else I use for, oh, hamburgers. I always put it in the food processor. It just really tenderizes everything. A little turmeric, like whenever I can, I just sneak it in. So I add about a tablespoon. And then a pinch of cinnamon, so that these are authentic. This is fresh ground cinnamon. Smoked chili flakes. This is probably not in my recipe. Recipes are just guides. I'm gonna do the best I can to write it as I'm doing it now. but. You're gonna have things in your kitchen that you wanna add that you know maybe I don't have and vice versa. I'm gonna add the Watts shawarma seasoning, shawarma yeast. So this says allspice in it. You can tell right off uh, the bat, it's so good. And you know what, I'm gonna add the whole thing because I'm not afraid of spice. Then I'm gonna add cumin. This is toasted, freshly ground cumin. And I think we're getting close. A little bit of paleo flour. I'm, I just happen to be gluten free because I'm allergic to some of the proteins in gluten. But you can use like panko or whatever you want. But something to lighten it and a nice pasture raised egg. I'm ready to buzz this. The fun part is going to be showing you how to form these kebabs. What the food processor does when you have even freshly ground beef, I really like the texture and the light and fluffiness I get from buzzing it. That's it. So now I will take these skewers. These are metal flat skewers. That's what's different about them. And the way to have the beef not stick to your hand is to wet your hand just a little bit with some water. So, and you just, you know, you can make them as big as you want. I love making these. You can imagine all that flavor that's in here. And now I'll go right onto the hot grill and you can hear it sizzle. Turn it up a little bit. I'll do another one. And while they're cooking, I'll make a little sauce to go with. So using your hand that you just dipped in water, you just can form, it looks like here's a little stem of mint, so we'll get rid of that. I'll just form this right on here and drop it on. I'm not oiling the grill. We have all that bacon fat in the kebabs. So I'll make three of them. We're gonna eat these for dinner tonight. We're really excited. And they cook so fast because the skewer gets hot. So here's what you can do if you're entertaining. You can make these in advance, just like this, formed, and lay them on parchment paper, and then um, cook them when your guests arrive because they only take a couple minutes per side. While those are cooking, I'm gonna make a quick yogurt sauce. I just wash my hands really well. So you can use a cucumber, 
if you'd like, and a little bit of mayonnaise, and not and have this dairy free. No problem. I know some people don't eat dairy, and I will make this sometimes with just a little bit of mayonnaise instead of yogurt. So this is really high quality yogurt. I've strained it. I just use a paper towel. Super easy. Get rid of the whey, which you can use to make bread and marinate. Uh, things it's, it's really nice ingredient, but I'm not using it today. So I'm gonna add fresh mint, scallions, lemon juice, and whatever other treasures I see in front of me that I want to add in. So I'll just make a small batch of this. So this is now essentially like a Greek yogurt, and I want to take this as far as like plating it up for you. That's like a chef term, plating it up. Let's check this grill. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is why I love cooking so much. This is just incredible. All right. Yogurt sauce. What am I going to add? So I just, I have another YouTube video where I toasted fresh peppercorns. And this is the, the Adi Laliman. I probably pronounced that wrong, but this is a wild pepper from Indonesia. I'm going to add some sea salt. And I'm going to grab a knife. And I'll chop some scallions and mint. I want this garnish to be really flavorful. So for me, that means a lot of onions. I love onions. My husband is probably rolling his eyes right now. And you can just put these in. And fresh mint. And then we'll add probably some lemon juice. Actually, I think I know what I'm going to do. So fresh mint, all goes in there. I'll stir that up. Anything else I want to add? I think I'm going to add some smoked chili flakes, just a few. And some red wine vinegar. Uh, we're using Banyuls vinegar from France. Splash, splash, red wine vinegar aged in oak barrels. And I'll mix this up. I'll get our plate. And I want to show you a way that I like to cut a lemon, where you get the most juice and it's perfect for garnishing. All right, this looks fantastic. You could add garlic too, but I have a lot on the kebab. So give these another turn. Put them on all sides. And then I have our plate here. I'm gonna take this lemon and I'm gonna cut it we learned this in Mexico. You cut it along its side like this, and I'll just pop out these little seeds. And that way, when you go to squeeze it on the kebabs, you get a really nice amount of juice. Get rid of the little seeds inside. And these are ready to go. So all we have to do is put some mint on there, why not? is I'm gonna put some yogurt sauce down. First, I'll flip these over. If it sticks, it's almost a rule of thumb that sometimes it's not ready to be turned. But I feel like it is, so I'm just going with my instincts here. These grill pans are fantastic. If you have one of these at home, this is La Crise. The other side is a flat side. So I'll put some of the yogurt sauce down, yay a little and I'm going to turn the heat up for a last blast here and then these are done. I'll lay this right on top. How awesome is this you guys? I'll take this little one and put it down right here like this. So this is a beautiful kebab filled with flavor. Garnish with the yogurt sauce, and you just take these lemons and squeeze it right over here. Love you guys so much. Don't forget to smile while you cook. I'll see you next time for another video.